Dr. Cutter with the Chainsaw Hospital and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a BR700 steel backpack leaf blower. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we've got plenty of fuel in it and we do. Got good two cycle mix in there. The next thing we're going to do is flip our choke lever to that choke position and make sure our stop switch is in the run position with the eye for ignition. And uh, so now we have the choke set and we're going to go ahead and pump that purge bulb a few times just to get some fuel flowing through the carburetor there. So once we have all those settings in position, we're going to go ahead and pull this recoil and see if we can get it to start. Okay, there it goes. See, it tried to start up, but it died right out. So what we're going to do is flip our next, our position to the next position, which is the middle choke position. So let's go ahead and see if we can get it to start up with that. And it did start up. In a normal situation, you'd leave it running and you'd blip the throttle, and then that would take it out of that high idle position. So let's see if we can do that. Blip that throttle and get it right back down to idle after it warms up for a few seconds. Okay, there you go. So I let it kind of idle there in that middle position and when I blipped the throttle it automatically flipped itself to that lowest run position which is this handle would be horizontal uh, to the to the machine there so uh, yeah that's about it uh, for me guys this is a really nice backpack blower uh, these things are are four mix so they have like a four cycle engine in them with valves and everything but yeah runs great so uh, remember to take care of your small engines and treat them well